getting pretty interesting nowadays. And that is because it seems like DC is trying to make a move to take over TV where Marvel seemed to make a move to take over uh, the, you know, movies. And, and you're kind of seeing also the reverse effect with Marvel where they're trying to spread to TV with like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Agent Carter. And now you're seeing DC trying to tread into the movie universe with the Dawn of Justice, Batman vs. Superman. Like so. Early. Um, I mean, the DC's always tried to get into the, the movie universe it, and sometimes are successful, just often or not. So... But the more specific thing is the Arrow universe. Now, um, Arrow is a TV show that was pro, uh, came out on the CW, I think, about two years ago. It's still running. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty solid. I saw the first two seasons. It has since uh, led to a spinoff, uh, The Flash Show, which I haven't seen quite yet because, again, it airs when I'm at work, and they don't like to put their shows up on On Demand, CW. Eh, thanks a lot, jerks. Can't catch up on them now. But um, but now they're coming out with... CBS is actually coming out with a Supergirl TV show. Uh, they've recently started casting, and they're going out and doing that. And that is actually um, done... The executive producer is the same one be behind Arrow and The Flash. It's Greg Berlant. And CBS actually co-owns the CW. So... We might be seeing something of another crossover event sometime when the Supergirl TV show comes out, like we've seen with The Arrow and The Flash, which has been pretty entertaining. Again, I haven't seen it, but it, it, it sounds like it's an amazing idea. And if The Flash is anything like The Arrow, it's just a good TV show. And so if Supergirl is going to be anything like those two shows, it looks like we're in for some pretty good TV. Now, my one complaint about Arrow is um, there's a little bit too much of the whiny, oh, you lied to me, oh, you're supposed to be my brother, why you lied to me? Shut up. He's a superhero. He, he has to murk people. He's got to keep some secrets. That's why yeah. Batman was always so cool, because he's like, I'm lying to everybody at all times, and I don't care. And that's why all his sidekicks always leave him. But it's still cool. But, <laughs> and that's that's not all. That's not all. Um, apparently, recently, during the Television's Critics Association press tour at the CW, the president, Mark Pedowitz, said that they were in early talks for another superhero spinoff show of the Flash slash Arrow universe. And there's been a lot of speculation of who that might be, but it's looking like it's going to be Ray Palmer, a.k.a. The Atom. Uh, now, he has already appeared on the Arrow show, um, so he's seeming like the most likely one. And they do a lot of things with Star Labs, which is kind of, if you read Deep Sea Comics, they do a lot of crazy things. Sometimes good guys come out of it, sometimes bad guys come out of it, but most of the time bad guys come out of it. So, I guess this, it, it seems like, I think we've mentioned before, they're definitely um, going for the, the, the less popular, less known uh, superheroes for this, which... It's an interesting move to, to put them in in TV slots in pretty decent time um, TV slots. You, you'd expect them to try again for how whatever the fifth time um, to put in some of their bigger bigger names. But you know maybe maybe it's, it sounds like it's been working for them so far. Um, I mean I you're right. It has. Yeah. It, it's been working out great. I mean, and it's almost like they're they're separating. Okay, here's the movies. You guys have the big guns. You have the Superman. You have the Batman. You have the Wonder Woman, uh, and Green Lantern's going to be in there. We're going to see an Aquaman somewhere in the the Justice League, I bet. But then they have the okay. Let's flesh out some of these lesser known characters as well. With you know Arrow, who's a really cool character, even though he's kind of a Batman clone, because he's you know the billionaire playboy that goes off in his own fight crime. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess part of the thing that I think benefits it is just um, pe less people are so familiar already with it, so you can tell new stories. It's fresher mm -hmm. rather than the seventh take that people have seen uh, of Superman. Um, yeah. You know, there's, there's comic book people that, uh, the hardcore comic book people that know the story, obviously, and they'll either like the rendition or, or hate hate it, but um, the the rest of the public that is more of a TV audience is, doesn't know necessarily. Like I don't, I don't know very much about a Green Arrow. I know a little bit, yeah. know a little bit more about Flash than I do Green Arrow. But um, still, well, Flash like, is actually probably one of the bigger characters. So he he, he kind of breaks. He's that kind of like that. He's kind of like that that threshold character though. Yeah. Like people know the Flash, 
but not that many people have really like read a Flash comic book, for instance, or or know about that much about just the Flash. They know more like like I personally, I know more things of Flash with someone else. He's done a lot of crossover stuff. You know him from the crossovers. You know him from Green Lantern. Like, yeah, his he's kind of the glue yeah. that holds the Justice League together and a lot of those things. So yeah. Justice League, um, you know things like him racing and Superman yeah. a few times, whatever like that. Which would be interesting, because if they're not planning a Superman TV show, which I, I almost don't want to see him do that, that's fine. Leave that alone. You think the crossover event with Supergirl would be him racing Supergirl instead of Superman? That'd be interesting. I don't know. They, that's the other thing. Supergirl... Do they do they try to just tie in anything from Smallville? Because that was a big, pretty successful uh, run show for for a you know Superman show. Um, yeah, I think they're, it's going to be it's going to be more of a separate universe than than that because um, the Arrow and Flash. I think they did have a Supergirl on there at some point too, right? They did bring her in, uh, so they're, I, that's going to be a separate universe, though I believe. Okay. They went for more of an action-oriented tone than Smallville really went for, even though it had its moments. It was it was more of a drama show than necessarily a superhero action show. So I, I think that'll be a little different. And then when we see, you know, and also they're kind of sticking with the trend, except for Supergirl. This kind of takes it out of that realm because she's kind of, kind of an alien. Uh, they're kind of going for the almost man-made power, you know. Arrow, he just trains himself really good and buys a bunch of cool things. That's how he gets his powers. The Flash, it's an experiment in a lab, you know, a man-made mm-hmm. experiment in a lab. And the Atom, if they do go his direction, uh, he does something like uh, a white dwarf, piece of a white dwarf, which doesn't make any sense to me, but it falls to Earth, and he gets it, and he creates some sort of lens that has the power to shrink and expand things. So <laughs> that's that's where the Atom comes from. But again, that's a man-made type power. So that kind of seems where they're going. You know who I'd like to see, though, who is another little-known character who has man-made powers, uh, is Booster Gold. A lot of people don't know about Booster Gold. But he's a he's a pretty fun character. He was a security guard in a museum in the like 500 years in the future, and there was all these like supervillain weapons and stuff like that that they had created to make themselves stronger that could fly and stuff like that. And he takes it and he puts it all on himself and goes back into the past to become superhero in the past. <laughs> so you know he's another guy that I think could fit into this universe relatively well, and he's kind of a wisecracker. He's He's a funny guy to be around. Uh, so, you know, I don't know. But there's there's probably going to be more than just one more spinoff. If the Atom is successful, and with the continued success of the Flash and the and Arrow, I mean, Flash was the highest, uh, you know, initial... It had the highest ratings of a first show of a program ever on the CW history. Like, more viewers watched that than any other show ever for a premiere. So, yeah, we're probably going to see a lot more of these. I don't know. I, I like it, but... You know, when does the fatigue start to set in? We'll find out. In a show or two. We will find out. But his sup, are you excited? Who do you think is the next show going to be? Are there, Is there going to be a Supergirl uh, Arrow Flash crossover? Hit us up, comments down below. Of course, at What's My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. 